Good morning, church. On this New Year's, I greet you all in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. As we begin this new year, let us accept this gift of this holy sacrament of communion for what I believe Jesus intended it to be. For in our faith, we experience his real presence through this holy sacrament. He comes to us and renews the relationship of love and grace and mercy that with us. And in his commands to remember me, let us remember and realize how he used that word. It's not simply a mental remembrance, it is a, an obedience. When you remember him and what he did for us and how much God loves us through him, we are called to be obedient and be his followers for the rest of our life to put God first, God alone first in our lives, and live the way Jesus shows us to live. His death is not only atoning, but also his life and his teaching. So let us make a new commitment this new year to be obedient to all of his teachings, all of his commands, to put God first in our lives, not ourselves, and to love our neighbors as ourselves and go forth into the world proclaiming the gospel, calling for repentance, teaching all the ways of Jesus and baptizing as many who will come in the name, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. On the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he gathered with his disciples in that upper room, knowing what soon would occur. And he gave them this gift. He took bread. He gave thanks to the Lord, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying these words, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, Jesus took the cup containing the fruit of the vine, again giving thanks to the Father. He blessed it, giving it to his disciples, saying these words, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do a drink of it, do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray. O gracious and holy God, may the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight. And may these gifts of bread and juice be for us God's living presence in our midst, the midst of our gathering here in worship today, the midst of our lives in this new year to come, and through us in the midst of this hurting sin-sick, sorrow-worn world that needs the good news of God's renaming grace in Jesus Christ. Amen. The body of Christ given for me. The blood of Christ shed for me and for you. Amen. Let us pray, O oh, my living and loving God. By your hands we have been fed. By your grace we have been saved. And by the power of your spirit we now go forth into the world, pro proclaiming and living the good news of your love for all in Jesus Christ. And all of God's people said, Amen. Happy New Year.